हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस यूट्यूब भिडियो प्रोग्राम वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट टू दि स्पेसीफिक सांपलींग टेक्निक्स दैट वी यूज फर सिलेक्टिंग ए सांपल फर कंडक्टिंग एजुकेशनल रिसर्च एंड स्पेशली इन आवर अर्लियर प्रोग्राम वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द सांपलींग टेक्निक्स यूज अंडर प्रोबेबिलिटी सांपलींग मेथड we have discussed the first uh, uh, sampling technique that is the simple random sampling technique under probability sampling method and uh, uh, in this program uh, we will focus upon the second technique uh, that we use that is called as the stratified random sampling technique that is also come under the probability sampling technique for selecting a sample for conducting our research so friends uh, let us try to understand that uh, uh, how uh, what is the concept of uh, a stratified random sampling technique and uh, what process do you follow for selecting a sample by using stratified random sampling technique and uh, uh, we will also discuss that in what situation uh, keeping in consideration of uh, what is the nature of the population uh, so that Uh, we use uh, not a simple random sampling method for selecting a sample but to use the stratified random sampling technique you see friends sometime uh, many strata uh, represents in a population that should be represented equal in the sample try to remember what i am saying try to understand uh, many strata strata means here a group a group is called as a strata okay so many a time you will find that uh, uh, many groups or the uh, or the stratas that represent in a population uh, what you will do when you will select a sample so if you will do it as general we we may not get adequate representation adequate uh, you can say sample unit from uh, different stratas okay so that's why Uh, if you follow this technique that's called as the stratified random sampling technique we can give uh, an equal representation to each and every strata uh, of the group okay uh, for uh, sampling means to get a uh, representative sample because in the sample many strata are there many groups are there let us try to uh, understand by taking certain examples uh let us uh, take the first example let we intend to study examination re results of a class 10th students belonging to various groups of socio economic status in a particular city okay so what you will do we have to uh, examine the uh, class 10th students result board examination result and where you will get the population our population is the students the students in a particular city and you see this population they are belonging from three different socio economic groups socio economic strata okay as example let uh, i can say the high so, uh, let total uh, number of population is here 1500 okay 1500 so among these 1500 students those are from different socio economic background uh we analyzed and uh, we got the information that from the high socio economic strata 300 students are there from middle socio economic strata 800 students are there and from low socio economic strata 400 students are there so from the uh, high socio economic strata 300 plus the middle socio economic strata 800 800 plus 300 1100 and from low socio economic strata another 400 so 1100 plus 400 is 1500 so total population size is here 1500 and what you will do you have to select let you have to select 25% of the population okay so total population is 1500 and you have to select 25% of the population that means 375 means 25 percentage of 1500 is 375 but friends here you see directly you cannot uh, by using the simple random sampling method by using the lottery method directly you cannot 
select 375 sample units from the population of 1500. As I have already said that uh, uh, this population size of 1500, they are, you can say, scattered and uh, they are representing three different socio-economic strata, socio-economic group. From high socio-economic group, from middle socio-economic group and from low socio-economic group. So what you will do as already as already we have mentioned that uh, the number of uh, uh, you can say students from uh, three different groups the number of students from three different groups that is from high socioeconomic strata group middle socioeconomic strata group and low socioeconomic strata group so what you will do instead of taking uh, directly 15 uh, 25 percent from the 1500 population that is 375 so carefully by using the stratified random sampling technique so what you will do you have to take you have to take 25 percent of sample from different strata of the population means 25 percent from the high socioeconomic group 25 percent from the middle socioeconomic group and 25 percent from the low socioeconomic group let us see this visual it will be more clear Okay friends, this uh, uh, visual is not coming. So try to understand as I have mentioned that uh, you have to take uh, you know the 25 percent of uh, sample that uh, already uh, you have determined uh, to get it from the population. So here you have three status, three groups in the population that is high socioeconomic group, middle socioeconomic group and low socioeconomic group. You see in the high socioeconomic group total 300 students are there if you will take 25 percent of 300 so uh, that will be 75 25 percent of 300 will be 75 and in middle socioeconomic group you have 800 i have already said that you have 800 number of students so what you will do you have to again take 25 percent uh, from uh, the 800 so that will be 200 okay so 200 sample you have to take from the middle socioeconomic group and, and, and from the low socioeconomic group already you have listed that 400 students are there. So again you have to take 25 percent. So this will be 100. So friends you see total 1500 uh, population of students were there. So what you did you took 25 percent sample from each data from the each group. So accordingly from the high socio-economic strata you have to take 75, from middle socio-economic strata you have to take 200 and from low socio-economic strata you have to take 100. Okay, So that's why 75 plus 200 plus 100 is 375. So here directly, if, if directly you will take 25%, so there is the possibility that you may get more number from the low socio-economic group or from the high socio-economic group or from the middle socio-economic group you may get that uh, in one socio-economic strata you are getting uh, you know adequately uh, uh, you know uh, more sample in comparison to other group so that will affect the result of your research so for avoiding such type of errors such type of uh, you can say uh, discussion in your study so what you can do you can take the same percentage of sample from different group okay so you can say now if you will take 25 percent from three different strata from three different group you can say that your sample will better represent the population okay so in such case in such situation uh, without taking a simple random without adopting the simple random sampling technique you can just adopt the stratified random sampling technique but here you see in stratified random sampling this is also a type of random sampling technique here also you have to use the simple random sampling technique just like in high socioeconomic status the population means 300 total students are there so how many you have to take you have to take 
25 percent means 75 so how can you take you have list all the students uh, those are coming under the socio high socioeconomic strata means you have to make the 300 list then among these 300 list by using the lottery method by using the random table method you can take 75 then again in middle socioeconomic group you have 800 students you have to take 25 percent means 200 so that is also by using the simple random sampling technique you can select 200 again in the low socioeconomic strata you have 400 students out of the 400 students you have to take 25 percent okay you have to take 100 so how you will take you have to list all the students all the 400 students coming under the low socioeconomic status and among the 400 low socioeconomic status students you have to select 25 percent by using the simple random sampling method that is 100 okay so here you are using the simple uh, random sampling technique in three phases means you are applying it in each strata in each group but in the earlier method in earlier technique in simple random sampling technique what you are doing at a stretch you are selecting but here you are using the simple random sampling technique but but you are selecting it by using uh, you can say uh, two stages okay in first stages you are uh, distributing the population in three status in three groups and you are uh, taking uh, your sample the required number of sample the required percentage of sample from each group from each strata but you see in a stratified random sampling you are also using the simple random sampling technique for getting sample from each strata so friend uh, let us uh, uh, try to uh, discuss uh, uh, another technique so many a time you see let you are taking students from the uh, 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 schools different schools okay students from different school let uh, 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 you have three types of schools here let government school government added school and the private school okay so here three status are there government school is one strata private school is another strata and government added school is the third strata so what you will do let uh, first of all you have to list the number of students in the uh, government school uh, government added school and the private school then you decide that what percentage of sample you have to select and the same percentage will be maintained for uh, government school government added school and private school but here you cannot mix up all the students and you take the sample so if you will mix up all the students and you will uh, draw the sample by using the simple random sampling what will happen there will be the uh, chance there will be the probability to get uh, uh, you know uh, uh, more number of uh, uh, you can say students from a particular system of school from a particular type of school like from the government school or from the government aided school or from the private school so here uh, if the uh, sample is not represent, uh, representing your population then the result that you will get uh, you, you may not get a true result so that's why uh, stratified random sampling technique can be used for uh, you know selecting a sample especially for such type of situation when your population is distributed in different status just like uh, we are discussing a problem let you have uh, you have 1500 students and uh, uh, let in government school boys students are there girl students uh, are there let total 700 students you are taking from the government school among them let 400 boys and 300 girls then in government added school let you are taking uh, your population is 400 okay 300 is the boy students and 100 is the girl student and in private school uh, let again 400 population size is there okay 300 boys and uh, 100 girls so for a students are the concern so if i will add all the boys students so that will be 1000 that means 400 from the government school 300 from the government aided school and 300 from the private school so 400 plus 300 plus 300 is 1000 and when we you take uh, when you add the girl students from three types of schools means from government school 300 government aided school 100 and private school 100 so this will be 500 so in your population 1000 boys and 500 girls that is also from three different schools so what you will do 
let uh, as a researcher you take a decision that you have to take 25 percent 25 percent so what you will do already you have listed the boys and girls population uh, in the government school boys is 400 and girls is 300 so what you will do you have to take 25 percent boys from the government school then 25 percent girls from the government school so 25 percent boys from government school total boys is your 400 so if you take 25 percent that will be 100 and 25 uh, percent of girl students from the government school so total girl student is is, is here 300 if you take 25 percent that will be 75 so here out of the 70 uh, 700 government school students uh, in sample you have to take 100 boys and 75 girls one total will be 175 accordingly in government added school you have 300 boys and 100 girls you have to take again 25 percent of boys and girls 25 percent of 300 will be 75 and 25 percent of 100 girls will be 25 so here 75 plus 25 that will be 100 will be the sample from the government added school again in private school you have boys population is 300 and girls population is 100 you have to take 25 percent from the boys and from the girls so 25 percent of 300 is 75 and 25 percent of 100 is 25 so 75 plus 25 is 100 so friends you see uh, uh, you select now uh, from the government government edit and private school then again the another status are the boys data and girls data of three different school but but the same percentage of sample you are maintaining in each data in each group okay boys from government school girls from government school boys from government edit school girls from government edit school boys from private school and girls from private school and you are getting total boys that you will get including the three different school will be 250 and total girls that you will get from three different school will be 100 okay so 250 plus 100 is 350 so friends you see the total uh, population was uh, uh, your 1500 okay so you are taking 350 sample taking 25 percent from each data so friends uh, mostly uh, such type of study uh, such type of sample uh, you will select or uh, you will take a decision for uh, you know uh, taking a stratified random sampling technique when your population is distributed when your population is distributed in different status in different groups like boys and girls rural and urban government and private school government private and added colleges okay male and female so if data uh, your population is distributed in such a way so at a stretch by using only simple random sampling technique you cannot select a sample rather you have to you have to uh, use this stratified random sampling so, uh, so that you can better uh, represent uh, uh, you can better give a representation of each and every strata of the population okay so your sample will represent the population means the sample results that you will get that may uh, you can say uh, a better result and the result uh, that may close to the population means you will not get uh, a type of biased result you will not get a type of uh, uh, you can say result which is uh, far distance from the population result because when we are using a probability sampling technique it is our assumption that the results that we will get that will be means the sample result will uh, more or less similar with the population result okay so here you will not get any difference of the result so friends uh, uh, as a researcher what you have to do first of all you should have a better understanding about the nature of the study about the population about the sample okay and how your population is distributed you have to take a decision as a, as a researcher and uh, if you find that your population is distributed in many groups so better to use a stratified random uh, sampling technique but if you consider that your sample is not distributed distributed in different groups then you can do it by using a simple random 
sampling technique so it is up to you uh, to decide the method but but that method should be based upon based upon the uh, you can say the population and sample and distribution of the population so friends in this program we discussed about the stratified random sampling technique earlier program uh, we had discussed about the simple random sampling technique and in our next video program we will discuss the other techniques that we use under probability sampling method for conducting uh, research in education thank you